Hello and welcome to an overview of the Cosine Network Controller with scrolling message support. In the bottom right hand corner of my screen you'll see I have a sample sign here. It's got a stoplight, uh, four 2.3 inch numeric displays, a scrolling message board, and a 5 inch uh, four digit numeric display. When you go to the controller page this is what you'll see at first you'll see a list of all the devices on your sign you can see here i've got my stoplight the uh, office count assembly count printing count shipping count and injury free count so obviously these will all be dependent on your specific sign configuration but it's a good example here to just kind of show you the overall features and capabilities of the network controller if I want to change a stoplight, I come in here and we'll pretend that an accident has occurred. So I want to turn off my green light. I want to turn on my red light. Update. And then we'll go back to the devices page. And it looks like we had an accident in the office. So we're going to set that current count to zero and apply those changes. And then you can see down there in the right, those changes have taken effect live on the sign. And if we want to take a look at the scrolling messages, we click up here in the scrolling message area. And we've got a list of all the predefined safety based messages here. So we can take a look at any one of these messages and change the text colors, the fonts, I can make that big, I can make it small, I can move it around if I want to and kind of get an idea for what that message is going to look like here in the preview window. If I want to add a message, I just come up here and click new message. I get a blank message down here that I can add text to so i'm going to add a reminder please be safe today i'm going to add that text change the color and save it now right now it's pretty generic here so what i want to do is center it left justify and I'm going to make that font a little bigger. I also am not real fond about that color, so let's pick a new color. Uh, we've got to click the text, and I can change that text. Let's make it blue. And we'll save that. Now, in order to make this a little fancier, I'm going to change the animation. So each message enters with an introduction animation. I'm going to have it fade in. It plays with an animation and since my message is longer than the display I need to animate it or I won't be able to see the whole message. And the animation that I want for this is going to be to scroll left. I want it to loop three times and then I want it to fade out. I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to preview it here so I can make sure it's what I want before I actually put it up on the sign. See it fades in, scrolls left, and I'm pretty happy with that. So now I want to see what it looks like on the sign. I'm going to play the message and you can see it there fade in on the sign. And then here we've also got, so that's it for the scrolling message, high level. Uh, I think you kind of get an idea for how easy it is to add new messages. We'll have follow-up videos for the specifics of, of getting really in-depth with some of the more interesting features of the scrolling message display. Also in the network controller, you've got a configuration page. You can set uh, network settings. Uh, define a wireless network. Uh, we don't support that 
uh, but it is available if you want to try it out. We always recommend a hardwire ethernet to the sign. It's just a lot more reliable. Uh, you can enable or disable DHCP. If I were to disable these, I would be able to enter a hard-coded IP address for the device. Again, we do not recommend that either. It's uh, much better to have a DHCP reservation defined instead. And you can change the host name here. And go ahead and cancel out of that. Uh, there's an activity log and, and several logs that you can look at. Uh, it's probably not interesting unless we're troubleshooting something. You can configure the time here, uh, including setting the time zone uh, based on a map. Just select your time zone and apply it. And the scrolling message details. Uh, there are some restore points here. We'll get into that in another video, but this is how you can access some of the additional features of the scrolling message display itself. That wraps up our overview, the high-level overview of the network controller and scrolling message board. Thank you.